I've, I mean, I, I was uh, doing a live over on uh, TikTok before I was like, you know, uh, yeah, sorry about that. They shut the live down over there. I don't know why I tried to check. I was like, wait, what a second. <laughs> why did I get shut down? Um, but that that's what happens on TikTok, you know. They can shut your live down. They can, uh, you know, basically silence and suppress you. I think they're kind of like one of the worst ones out of all the platforms that do that. So I was like, you know what, let me do it over here. I haven't been live on this uh, IG. So I can do either there, both here or there. But yeah, I think on TikTok, you have to have like a thousand followers before you go live. And um, I'm only at like 750. It's been like a slow growth because my main platform that I utilize, I go live on is uh, um, YouTube. But um, they just they let me go live over there on Instagram or uh, TikTok, but whatever, something happened. So I put the title here. The word mulatto is not offensive. Um, I was sharing a... Uh, a comment I had like the green green screen sharing a comment that I received from uh, Emily and she put on one of my recent live streams on from YouTube about how the word mulatto is there's no logical reason for why the word mulatto is offensive and what I said was basically well people are not really offended by the word mulatto what they're offended by is that you as a mulatto you will identify as mulatto, you'll use that as a symbol to identify around removing yourself from other people's influence. Because other people have a vested interest in you identifying with them, thereby you help increase their numbers and their influence or clout in society, right? That's what they're really offended by because I realize even with this social media experimentation and the whole branding of like mulatto, that People are more offended by me using the word mulatto than I am or even other mulattoes. The only people who are mulattoes who are offended by the word mulatto, they're usually they're black identified. They just identify as being black. They're like, oh, yeah, I got a white mom, you know, but uh, I'm still, you know, I'm just a light skinned black. It's like, wait, you're half European, half black. So you're just as much European as you are African. Thereby, you're the fusion. You're not one over the other. A lot of people have a hard time acknowledging that. So they lie to themselves. But what they do is they try to fit in with a specific group more so. And that's what they do. So, and we, we and I reference as well, it's like, okay, so, you know, other, like, you have the same demographic of people who are against the word mulatto. They have no issue with the word, the N-word. And the N-word is considered one of the most offensive words in the English language, but they use it every day in their colloquial speech, in their hip hop songs, their entertainment. That's like embedded a part of their culture, right? And they're able to gatekeep that word. They can say to other groups, oh, you can't use that word, right? They'll kind of, there's some leeway where they'll let um, like Latino people use the word because like, oh, you got partial African ancestry. So you can say it. That's cool, right? But they don't want white people to use the n-word they're like oh you can't say that word now it's so they're <laughs> they're using it as a weapon of gatekeeping they're telling drake you can't say that word remember kendrick lamar you not like us right so even the biracial man drake who has a black american father and a white mom they're trying to tell him biracials you can't say that word you ain't black like us right so they can use that word to gatekeep right their group and that's perfectly fine. I don't have an issue with that. I don't use that word. It's not in my lexicon. But then those are the same people. I'm telling you, with my social media experimentation, I look at the comments and engagement. The same people who will look at me and tell me, you know mulatto is a bad word. Why are you saying that word? I don't care. It probably was in the past. Maybe it meant something, but not today. We've taken the word back. It means something else. Just like you people have done that, we've done the same thing deal with it and other groups you know have practiced that same type of autonomy like i referenced before my tiktok was uh shut down the live stream i was doing was shut down um i was tank saying about how like um how, like there was a group of like white comedians around 20 years ago larry the cable guy was one of them i don't know the other comedian names but they would have these comedy specials and they would like uh kind of like promote this like red redneck comedy so to speak they would talk about like oh you know you're a redneck if you do this or do that 
right? And that word redneck is considered a slur, right? Like, that's a word that people will use to basically, um, you know, make someone feel lower than them. Even with their own kind of racial group with white people, white Americans specifically, there's the different class distinctions. So you'll have people that will refer to kind of a, a lower class individual within their group. They will refer to them as like a redneck or something, right? But a lot of that demographic, right, who drinks Coors Light, etc., right, they've taken that word redneck to give them some type of like pride and identity of their class and of their kind of cultural ethnic group, so to speak. It's even so to where in this country, in America, in different states that I've traveled to, I've seen it to where people are driving down the highway in their big truck, a white guy in his big truck, and they'll have a big decal on their back window or like a sticker, or a decal, and it'll say like redneck on the back of it. So it's like a lot of people have pride in that word. They took a word that meant something negative and give, gave themselves some pride with that. And no one questions them, like, why are they doing that? Like, why are you calling yourself that or this or that? No one says anything about that. Like I said, same thing with, like, African-Americans. When they, they have the band, uh, or not the band, the group, hip-hop group, uh, NWA, right? They made a movie about it and all this stuff. So it's like, no one questions that. Kendrick Lamar, the rest of the rappers, you know, dancing around, saying the N-word. That's cool. They, that's their group. But I feel like when it comes time to us, right, organizing... And, you know, utilizing social media, trying to develop some cohesion, there is major kind of suppression or there's a major focus on us. They're like, well, they don't want us to have our own identity because a lot of us, we identify with the word mulatto. People are against that. Too bad, though. You got a guy like me, they can do what they can to silence, suppress, shadow ban the hell out of me. But it's just inevitable. I'm just one voice and I'm seeing a lot of the younger people out here. It's just inevitable, especially over on TikTok. But like I said, the issue with TikTok is they suppress the hell out of you compared to a lot of other platforms. I know Meta has a history of that too and YouTube and all the platforms. The solution would be to kind of develop your own platform. Try to bring in the traffic that you have from these other networks and bring them into your you know, personal website, so to speak. That's the kind of end goal of uh, making sure things uh, work in your favor. But that's kind of what I want to talk about. I already said a lot. I was like spewing for like 20 minutes on TikTok for they cut me off. I was like, oh, I wanted to kind of talk for a bit, but I'll share with a lot of you guys here. Um, that's all I got for right now. I'll be back more. I think I'm going to do some more lives over here just to share my presence. Let people know I'm over here as well, because the whole TikTok thing is kind of iffy. You know, if they can just shut you down like that, just because you might have said one little word they didn't like or something or because people could report your live and say it's offensive and it's just you know what, I don't want to have to continue to redo this stuff, right? You know, I could be going doing something else right now, but I um, want to share and talk it with you guys. So that's it right now. Watch the live, put a comment on it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.